All right, so we're talking about working with the dissertation template from GCU, and I want to spend a few minutes talking about the list of tables and the list of figures, okay? This can be tricky sometimes. They're a little bit different um, between the two, but the template very clearly has instructions on how to work with them, okay? So you'll see here, this is also, this has been set up automatically, just like the table of contents for the entire document. Okay. Um, you'll see right here, there's an example on how to update the list of tables. So right click update. We talked about that earlier. I'll show you in a minute. And then here's a sample table. What I highly recommend doing is if you have a table that you are going to add, I would grab this from the template just cut and paste it, put it in where you need it, and then update the title, update the columns. You can add more columns if you need to. You can kind of adjust the width. Um, and you'll see right here where my cursor changes, you can adjust the width that way. Okay, so, oh, just ran away from me. So you, you have the ability to make those changes in a table, okay? There is a very specific style, we talked about this in the last video, a very specific style for text in your table. And you'll see it up here in the ribbon in the styles, it's called table text, okay? Um, it's Times New Roman italicized, okay? Now, when you um, are numbering, you'll see here, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can, they need to be, all of your tables need to be in sequence and you can do it throughout the entire dissertation, so one all the way through whatever, or you can do it within chapters. For me, it was easier to do it within chapters because then I knew which tables were chapter one, which were chapter two, etc. Keep in mind, you do need to follow this format for tables in your appendices as far as the naming format goes, okay? So you can still use like your SPSS output um, format, but you still need to title following this format up here. Okay. I did not do that. And I, that got kicked back to me and I had to redo that for form and formatting. Um, so just bear that in mind. The other thing that gets a little tricky is getting these table styles to show up in your table of contents. Remember styles have already been set up for you. So all you would do is type your table number here. And if you look at the top, this is table title. Okay, that's what it's styled as. Then what you do is right after that, you do what's called a soft return. And you can see it here in this comment. After the table number, use two soft returns, which means you hold shift down and you hit enter, enter. Okay, then you would write the subtitle in italicized form, okay? Still table title, but that soft return is what makes the formatting in your, your list of tables look like this, okay? If you hit regular enter without holding shift, your title will not show up. So if you update this, and let me give you an example, let me just show you how it works. So I'm going to take the soft returns away. Okay, if I update this, I'm just going to update everything. Watch what it does. It took that away. Okay, it's still got the page number. But because I took away the soft returns, which is shift, enter, enter, it went away. So now I'm going to fix it. Actually, just shift, enter is what you need. And I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to click somewhere in the table. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to go to update field. I'm going to do update entire table and I'm going to hit OK. And it put it back the way that it needs to. OK, this gets tricky when you're trying to do form and formatting. If you don't reference this in the dissertation template, then um, it can get a little confusing. All right. Now, I do want to mention the list of figures is slightly different with the styling, okay? 
So in this case, the numbering of the figure is styled as, let me find it. It's styled as caption. Okay. It's not table title, it's caption. And then here, still styled as caption, but you do the same thing, the soft return between the fields or between the, the numbering and the actual title. Okay. Let's test that. Let's see if I am remembering correctly. I just put a hard return in there. I'm going to right mouse click, update the field, update the entire table, and look what it did. It it turned this into a hot mess. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. And the reason why it's doing it this way is because figure one is styled as caption. You see here, figure two is also styled as caption, but I put a hard return in between so it thinks it's two separate things. Okay, so now I'm going to delete that hard return. I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, hold down shift, hit enter, enter. And now I'm going to right mouse click up here. I'm going to update the field, update the entire table, <clears throat> and it's now corrected for us. Okay, so take the time to look at the list of tables, list of figures in the dissertation template. It gives you all of these instructions on how to update it, but you should not have to mess with any of the table of contents or list of tables, list of figures, because they're already set to match the styles. Okay, so good luck with that and good luck writing your dissertation.